This is definitely the hardest video I've ever had to make, I'm realizing. Hi guys. It's been such a long time since I've made a video and I honestly didn't expect when I'd be back if I'd ever be back. Um, I haven't posted a video I think since December, which is a really long time considering I was posting pretty consistently for years and years and years and I didn't really know if I was ever going to make a video coming back, especially after all that has happened since I last posted a video. I wasn't putting pressure on myself to explain everything that's been going on. All I know is that right now I just really wanted to make a video um, just talking to you guys and updating you about what has been going on in life. A lot has happened. A lot has happened. I don't even know where to start, honestly. My heart is racing right now. I'm feeling just very heavy. This channel here, you guys, there's just a special place in my heart for all of you that have been supporting me over the years. This has always been a creative outlet for me. And um, something in my heart has just been pulling me back lately to grabbing this camera and making a video. My last video, I'm pretty sure, was my New York trip vlog with my mom back in December. And it's just crazy to think how much life can change like that. Um, I originally stepped away from YouTube just because I was feeling burned out. I had a lot going on finishing up school. I was really trying to pour all my effort into starting up my wedding videography business, which I actually launched in January. It's called Joyful State Creative. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that, but I have been working a lot on that in the past few months and really this entire year. So I stepped away just because I felt like I wasn't called to YouTube in that moment anymore. I felt like God was leading me into other directions creatively. I just wanted to step away for a bit. And I had been planning on making an update video about that for a while. And I just decided to focus on school and finish strong because I graduated in May. So I'm no longer in college anymore, which is crazy. For those who have been watching my channel for a while, and especially this past year, you would know who Luke is. Um, I'm already crying. <sighs> he is the love of my life. Luke was in multiple videos of mine. You guys saw our relationship from what we showed. Um, we started dating in May of 2021 and all of 2021 and into 2022, we were just falling deeper and deeper in love. I didn't even know that I was capable of loving someone as much as I love Luke. And he made me feel so loved. He loved me so well and all the time that I had with him I treasure it in my heart and I will forever. Um, we just had a really amazing, amazing year together. That year with Luke was the best year of my life up to this point. Skipping ahead to the end of February, Luke began struggling with seizures. Um, I'm not going to go into depth or detail about that really, but he started having seizures and struggling with those, um, which was really, really scary. For the next couple months, we were going to doctor's appointments, trying medication, so many different things to try to get the seizures controlled. I was very terrified that something would happen with his seizures, and I know a lot of other people were too. It really was, it was a scary two months trying to figure out what was going on and how we could control them because seizures can be so unpredictable, and it just, it was a very scary time, that's all I'm going to say. Just two months later after, his first seizure. Luke passed away on May 1st. Very suddenly, he had a seizure in his sleep and he never woke up from that. The shock of hearing that news. Um, there are no words to describe it. Reliving that day of finding out it keeps replaying in my mind and I haven't seen my love ever since I'm so thankful that the day before April 30th we had the entire day together it was the most perfect day we spent it with friends and also just the two of us and I truly believe that was God's gift blessing us with that amazing last day together we just had no idea that it would be the last day. And it's hard to wrap my head around 
that it's almost been five months now since my first. A part of me feels like it's been way longer than five months. The other part of me feels like it just came like that and I start to panic when I realize that more time is passing and that's just more time without seeing Luke or hearing his voice. It's just getting further and further away from the last time that I saw him and that thought just really freaks me out if I think too hard about it. It has been the hardest season I've ever walked through. Luke was the best person I ever knew. The way he lived his life is so inspiring to me. He trusted God with every fiber in his body throughout the seizures he was having. He was just so faithful. Um, I know that he was scared, as we all were, but the way he handled it with such grace and trust in the Lord blows me away. Every time I would ask him how he was doing, just checking on him, he would express his fear or express how he was feeling and he would always finish the sentence with but I trust God whatever happens I trust God I know that he's good I always admired his thinking in that way because I, I can I can tend to get wrapped in an anxious spiral but Luke was always so good at grounding himself in God's truth and remembering that he's in control we knew that this was a possibility of happening but I didn't actually believe that this could actually happen I would pray desperate prayers crying out to the Lord to heal Luke from seizures. Desperate prayers, like the most desperate prayers I've ever prayed in my entire life. And I truly believed that God would heal him on this earth. I had a conversation with a leader in my church two weeks before my first and I was opening up to him about just my fears with Luke and the seizures he was struggling with. And he said something to me that just really hit my heart. He said, you have to remember, Luke is God's, not yours. And we can pray for healing, and we can pray for healing for Luke on this earth, but ultimately, God knows what's best, and sometimes healing comes in a way that we don't expect. And I just remember that really sticking out to me, and it felt like this relief, because just hearing, just hearing him say, Luke is God's, not yours, was a huge wake-up call for me. Because even though I had no control to begin with, I felt like I was trying to control, like, oh my gosh, God, please join Luke and I together. We are each other's, like, please don't take him away. Just remembering that Luke is the Lord's child, like, that means as Luke's father, God is going to take the very best care of him, and he will always do what is best for his children. So. Even in my eyes, if that looks different, I have to trust that. I have to trust God as Luke's father is gonna take the very best care of him. So hearing that allowed me to be so, so present, more present than I've ever been in my entire life in those last two weeks with Luke. I had no idea this was gonna happen, but that was a gift from the Lord, that reminder, because I truly trusted God as well. I was still fearful, but I was able to let go and just be present and because of that Luke and I had the best last two weeks together without even realizing it. I fell more and more in love with him every single day. Every single day. The love we shared together was a gift from God. It was so beautiful and we had so many plans for the future. We wanted to marry each other. We knew pretty early on that we wanted to marry each other especially as the seizures started our relationship became deeper and more serious pretty quickly. Like we just had this true knowing, like God is calling us to marriage and we knew. There aren't even words that I can use to describe how much I love Luke. And he was my favorite person on this entire planet. <laughs> the way he was so intentional, cared for others so well, trusted God. Um, everything about him, I just miss so much. His heart is so unbelievably beautiful. And I am so honored that I got to be loved by him and then I got to love him. Being loved by Luke, that is truly one of the greatest gifts God has ever blessed me with in this life. Luke was planning on proposing this fall. Um, so it's, it's a hard time of year right now. We were so excited to start our lives together. We had all these plans. We talked about 
what we wanted to do for our wedding. When we wanted to get married, we were planning on being married by May of next year. And we had all these dreams together. We talked about doing Joyful State wedding videography together and starting another business together and maybe living abroad together. Just all these dreams. Every dream that I had, he was in it. And on May 1st, felt like all those dreams shattered. Grief is something I've never experienced to this level before. And I feel like a piece of my heart is missing. The person that I loved to my deepest core was taken away. The person that knew me unlike anyone else on this entire world is gone from this earth. The past four and a half months have been a blur. I don't even know where to begin, but I just want to start by saying how thankful I am for the Lord. For the first little bit, I was too angry to speak to God. Couldn't think about him without getting angry. I felt blindsided and betrayed and alone. Um, and that's okay. God welcomed that anger. I didn't want to receive any of his comfort. I didn't want to ever dream again. I was completely shattered. But over time, God kept knocking on my heart and eventually I softened and received the comfort he was wanting to give me. For those who have walked through grief and continue to walk through grief, you would know that it is like this constantly and everyone deals with grief in a different way. I realized quickly I cannot grieve without the Lord. I cannot Honestly, I can't do anything without the Lord. I can't blame God for this. The truth is we live in a broken world where things like this happen all the time, unfortunately, where pain exists, suffering, heartbreak, loss, and that's not God's fault. Yes, God could have healed Luke on earth. And in our minds here, it makes the most sense. Like, Lord, you could have healed him like that. Why didn't you do it? Like, why did you have to take him home? Who am I to sit here and shake my fist at God saying, why would you do this? This my way was the better way if you healed him on this earth. God is so vast and so powerful and holy and I'm just, he just knows. It's going back to what I heard in the church about Luke is God's not yours. God knew that Luke needed to be home in heaven. God used Luke in so many ways. God continues to use Luke in so many ways on this earth to bring people to Christ. But Luke needed to be in heaven in his true home. We don't understand why it had to be so soon. We don't understand why it had to be like this. But all I can do is trust that God knows best. He has shown me throughout my entire life, even before Luke, that he is faithful always. The Lord has really taken such good care of me in just giving me this peace that he promises of he knows what he's doing. It doesn't take away the pain. It doesn't take away the suffering of this. But just like Paul says in the Bible, as believers, we don't ignore our grief, like we still feel our grief, but our grief has hope attached to it. Unlike grief of the world where it's just hopeless. Like we have a hope found in Christ that even through loss and death like this, there is a promise yet to come. Like we, this earth is so temporary. We are just passing through and you never know when your last day is gonna be. You never know when your last breath is gonna be. So just appreciating every single moment that you have, every breath that you have. We're not promised tomorrow. Our true home is in heaven as believers in Christ. We were made for that. And to just picture Luke, my love, in heaven right now, not suffering from seizures anymore, living and dwelling with his father, Jesus. I know that he is being taken care of so well. And that is such a comforting thought. But again, it doesn't take away the pain that we are all left with here grieving him. God sees us in our pain. He cries and weeps with us. Just like Luke had this trust in God through his seizures, I have this trust in God now. The story just is not over. There's more than this. I have to trust that there's purpose in every single bit of pain, even though it is not easy. I say this now, but I do have days where it is hard to see any hope. And there are days where I'm just weeping, where it's hard to do anything. Those are the days that God carries me. I just feel like I've never depended on the Lord more than I do right now because truly, if I did not have Jesus, I don't know if I'd be here. And I don't say that lightly. Like without Jesus, I could not see purpose in this. I would not, it would just be 
despair. And I've had moments of feeling despair over losing Luke. But the Lord reminds me every day that he is enough. He is more than enough. He gives me all that I need in every moment. His grace is sufficient for all the suffering that this life may bring. And I have to remember this story is not about me. I'm affected by it and pained by it and God cares about that pain. But ultimately, we are all here for God's story, not our own. And Luke was a huge part of God's story, just like all of us are a part of God's story. But as a part of God's story, God needed Luke to be home in heaven right now. And if we're still here, we still have purpose. So I don't wanna miss that. The community that he's surrounded me in, at church, all of my amazing friends that I could not walk this walk through this without. Luke's family, I love them with my whole heart and I'm so thankful that I get to be part of their lives. My family, I could not do this without them. All the prayer, I, I truly believe prayer is so powerful and just thousands of people praying for all of us here who loved Luke. Not just me, but all of Luke's friends, his close friends, family, those who we just met in passing. We are all hurting over this loss. Even just all the messages that I get from you guys who, who have known about this from what I've posted on Instagram. Thank you so much for your prayers. Truly, they mean more to me than you know. And I just ask you all for continued prayer, not just for me, but for Luke's family, my family, all of Luke's close friends, all those who are really experiencing the depth of this loss. All of your kind messages that I read on my Instagram, I didn't get, I wasn't able to respond to a lot of them, but know that I read them. They gave me so much encouragement and light that I needed and continue to need, so thank you. The Lord has shown up for me in ways that I never could have expected. I feel like, I keep telling people that I feel like I'm a newborn baby depending on their parents to survive. Like, that's how I feel with the Lord right now. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what's going on. Like, I, Truly, the only way to get through the day, depending on the Lord, because I don't know what the day's gonna bring. I don't know when the next more unbearable type of pain will hit, but I do know that God is with me in it. And this grief is an honor to carry because it shows that my love for Luke is so deep and it always, always will be. People say that grief is love that has nowhere to go. And I truly feel like that is accurate because my love for Luke has not faded at all, it never will. I cannot wait until the day that I can reunite with him in our true home with our savior. Just the pain of missing him so much in this in-between feels unbearable, but the Lord promises that one day every tear will be wiped from our eyes and the suffering right now doesn't even compare to the joy that is coming. So I'm clinging to that truth, clinging to the truth that God has promised us and doing the best that I can in the meantime. Letting myself feel what I need to feel, that's my prayer. I don't ever wanna like suppress anything. I've been asking God to just help me feel what I need to feel and cry when I need to cry and scream when I need to scream. I want to tell the world about Luke. I wanna live like Luke. I wanna tell the world about God's goodness even through this pain and suffering because truly he is good, um, even when it doesn't make sense. In the past four months, um, I moved into this apartment, as you can see, and I'm very thankful to live here. It is an answered prayer in this season. I'm living with Emily, my friend who I've grown up with. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you'd know that. Since I'm not in school anymore, I'm working full time. So I still work at Social Coffee. I've been doing that for a while, I love it. I also do wedding videography. Um, I'm working with Luke's sister, Lauren, helping her with graphic design stuff and product photography, which has been a blessing. And I also started another business called Modern Coast Co. It really just fell together and it also feels like a gift from the Lord. I'll just give you a brief rundown on what it is. It's an art business. Um, I graduated with my degree in studio art, didn't really expect to use it. But when I moved into this apartment, I had this big blank wall behind my couch and I wanted to make a big art piece. And I'd seen textured art all over Instagram, I wanted to try it myself, so I did it my friend Gio offered to build me a frame for it and we installed it, did the frame, everything and ended up having a great time. So we decided why not try making a couple pieces and see if anyone buys them. We launched our first collection on July 1st and since then we launched another collection and we've been doing markets every month or so, selling pieces, we do custom commission work. It has been so much fun 
and that I know is a blessing from the Lord in the way that he's caring for me in this season. Art is just so healing and therapeutic. I've been able to really let out my emotions and being able to work with Geo is so much fun and just having that space to go to every day and work on art, like that truly is a dream come true and it brings me joy to do it. So I am just so thankful to the Lord for that. Like even through this, the hardest season ever, he's blessing me with these opportunities and being able to do what I love, same with weddings, as hard as those are right now, I'll talk about that in another video, but there are just new, like endless ways that God is caring for us. The Lord is showing me even more now that joy and sorrow can coexist together. Deep, deep sorrow. When you find life in the Lord, the joy is incomparable to anything else. Like, and I truly am able to say that I have felt genuine joy from the Lord since all this has happened, which I am so thankful for because it just, it shows how good he is. He is more than enough. He, he is true life. And as painful and heart shattering as this is, God is still showing me pockets of joy and showing me that he's with me through every step. And I just keep praying that my eyes are open to see him in everything, um, to just look at everything with as much wonder as I possibly can, even when it feels impossible. Yeah, I'm just in awe. Honestly, I don't know when my next video is going to be, but I've honestly been missing vlogging and just missing this outlet, missing talking to you guys. And I've just felt like this desire to start vlogging randomly when I feel like it. And things about my life, art stuff, running, running an art business, um, walking through grief, trusting in the Lord. And it actually feels really good to sit here and talk to you guys again. I was really nervous, but it feels, I was really nervous to make this initial video just because I wanted to be able to talk about Luke and explain some things. I just want to thank you guys so much for all of your endless support through Instagram and those who have messaged me and all the prayers. I'm going to link below a video to Luke's celebration of life. It was live streamed at our church and it was the most beautiful celebration that could have happened. And if you guys want to watch it and just hear about who Luke was, that would mean a lot. And I'm just so proud of him. So if you want to know more about his life, check that out. Thank you for listening. It means a lot to me. And um, I'm thankful that I have this place to just open up and be real. I love you guys. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. And I plan on talking to you soon.